You are beautiful beyond description. Too marvelous for words. Too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty enthroned above. And I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due, I stand in awe of you. Amen. As I was in um, prayer, a time of prayer and reading, studying the word this morning, I paused and I bowed my head and I spoke to Heavenly Father and I said, Lord, as I usually do, as I shared in many of my previous videos, when I, uh, many times when I study the Word of God, I would sit still in His presence. And I would just commune with Him spirit to spirit. And I would ask Him to lead me to scriptures that He would want me to know in that moment, to speak a word through the scriptures. And guess what, family? He led me to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20. And the heading for this scripture in my Bible, which is the King James Version, is always in prayer. And I will read it for you, Ephesians 6, 19 to 20. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And then he took me to Ephesians 6, verse 23 to 24, and it reads thus, Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. This is what the Lord is saying with this scripture. You TikTok creators out there who are using your platform to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. God is saying, open your mouth, mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Do not get on your platform in the strength, in your own strength. Do as I do. Pray and ask the Father what it is that he wants you to say for the video. Ask him to speak to you and through you. And if it be that he wants you to read scripture, if it be that he wants you to sing and worship as he has called me to, because I am a worshiper, I have the heart of a worshiper. If it be that you um, tell about a dream that he gave you, especially if it's a prophetic dream, if it be that he wants to give you a word of warning for people, whatever it is that God wants to use you and your platform for, you do that. Let him take complete control. Tell him, Lord, I yield, I yield. I surrender my will, my thoughts, my mind, my lips, my understanding. I submit my platform to you, God. You be the, the um, one who speaks to me that I may speak to your people. And he says, to tell you, brethren, peace be unto you. I speak peace to your mind. I speak peace to your life. I speak peace to every situation in your life where the enemy has tried to come in to derail you and to make you think that you are laboring in vain. He is a liar. Satan is a liar. He is a deceiver. He is the father of lies. If you hear anything in your spirit that does not sound like the voice of God, if you hear anything in your spirit that does not line up 
with the word of God, it's the enemy. It's the deceiver. He's trying to speak to your mind. Do not look at how many followers you have. Do not look at how many views. As God has told me, he has sent me to social media to continue with the ministry that he has called me to. You, November of last year when I joined TikTok, I joined TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube November of last year because God told me to do it. I could not have imagined that I would be on all the social media platforms to promote my book and to continue in ministry. I will give you more and more testimo testimonies as I go along of how I God brought me to this time and place in my life. Amen. And he wants me to encourage you, brethren. The topic of the, the scripture I read just now was always in prayer. Remain prayerful. Pray in the morning. Pray in the noonday. Pray at nighttime. Pray. Your prayers do not have to be long or elaborate. Speak to God from the recesses of your heart. Just pray from your spirit man. He hears every word of his child. Amen. And then God took me to Colossians chapter 4 verses 2 to 6. And the heading for that is continue in prayer. I could not have known that God would lead me to these scriptures that are correlated. That have a correlation about prayer and continuing in the work. And Colossians 4, 2 to 6 reads us, Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Withal, praying also for us, that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it plain or known as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom, wisdom toward them that are without, meaning those that are not saved redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you should answer every man. So let's look at this, what the Lord is saying. Obviously, he's speaking to us in this moment. He's telling us, one, to continue in prayer. Do not get distracted. Do not become weary. Pray. He's telling us, to watch and pray. Pray and watch and see the hand of God moving in your life, moving in the lives of people you are praying for, moving in situations and circumstances you are faced with, moving against the enemy and your enemies. He wants us to speak plainly and boldly. He has not given us the spirit of prayer affair, but of power, love, and a sound mind. He has given us the heart of a warrior, the heart of a lion or a lioness. We must speak boldly the mysteries of Christ. As we continue to dig deep, search the scriptures, be led by the Holy Spirit of God for understanding, spiritual insight, spiritual wisdom, he will give us the words to speak boldly in season and out of season. He will have our words to fall on the ears of whomever he it is. He has earmarked for that day, that moment to hear the word. Amen. And he said he, was, he will give us the wisdom to know how to answer every man. Stop answering. Stop explaining your faith. Stop trying to argue that your belief that Jesus is the Christ. No, 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 no. No, don't do it. The word of God through your lips will speak to them. Do not try to manhandle, if you will, spiritually someone to receive the gospel or receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord. And then he took me to Galatians 5 and 1. And that topic is walk in the spirit. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Do not go back to the world. There's nothing the world has for you that will lead you to eternal life. Stay on the straight and narrow path. That path is in Jesus. Stay on that path. And that path will ultimately, most assuredly, definitely, absolutely lead you to eternal life. Stay with God and be blessed. In Yeshua's name, amen.